Oh, hi there, team. Uh, I forgot your names, guys. No, anyways. Oh, hi there, team. I was on. We are back with Pokemon Storm Silver, episode 27, because actually it's episode 28, but still, it's it's 20 something. I was close, wasn't I? Anyways, we're gonna just, uh, just see Lugia flying through the sky at high speeds. And now we're gonna go actually start the game because we have stuff to do. Um, last uh, Saturday, I uploaded, uh, my, uh, file, uh, and I, um, hope that, uh, uh, you are, uh, uh, following, uh, uh, long, uh, 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 der. Okay, enough of that. Ah, uh, wow, I just realized my team was getting their butts kicked right here. Wait, 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 33, 33, ah, oh, fudge, damn it, Jaws, you ruined it. I would have had quads. I mean, trips. It's kind of. Petrol come to mess up our plans. I am team plasma executive and unlike that fool proton. I won't okay I forgot this guy mattered so I didn't actually do a voice for him and wow It's actually a boss battle. I probably should have put this in the last episode, but whatever First Pokemon is Raticate the normal type Pokemon and I guess since he's kind of a boss I should narrate this battle S Somehow that that makes sense to me apparently uh, I'm not entirely sure if he is considered a boss. I, I think he is considered a boss. Oh my gosh! The, 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 so much power behind such little teeth and rat like things. Alright, so jokes aside, I am going to be clearly outclassed for the gym battle. So let's switch over to Tengu and actually start getting some experience all around. God damn it. No, wait, wait. Why, why did I go for. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What is this? It does not get flame wheel. Last time I checked, that was that was certainly not accepted. Okay, Raticate is apparently of the top percentage type Pokemon in this game. Thankfully, though, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna have anything that'll probably hinder jo Thunderfang, does right? Okay, if this thing has Thunderfang, Flame, um, Flame Wheel, Hyperfang, and Crunch, ah, oh, all of my Jimmies are rustled like. Extremely drussled. That's that's a thing now. Drussled. Jimmy's Russell is short for. It's short. Oh, he's only got four Pokemon. That's rather nice. All right, so it's a normal type Pokemon, but my move pool sucks, so it doesn't really matter. Hyper Fang. Unlike Super Fang, it actually does like sheer damage, whereas Super Fang cuts your HP in half no matter what, which I think is just amazing. Two or three uh, Super Fangs, and then like a quick attack followed up by a quick attack is usually a KO. I don't know what he's gonna send in, so I'm not gonna really switch out because it's 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 it's, 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 it's a wheezing. Uh, not that big of a threat, especially since I got Surf and it's a physical wall. So the special attack shouldn't have too much trouble taking it out, unless it's like really, really. Oh god! Oh, oh god! How does what is what is this? I don't. How does this happen? How do you? How, wheezing doesn't get the okay. Okay, that's weird. That's that's really weird, and um, yeah, that that's really really weird. When the hell am I gonna get the lucky again this game? Cause I really could use it. Okay, so we're gonna go with Shockwave special attack. Um, again, it's not gonna be that specially bulky, and my special attack is actually pretty beefy in this uh on this Pokemon. Damn it! How did? That is absurd that I would do the exact amount of damage that Surf coming off a of Feraligator would. Especially since my special attack is much, much greater. Ah, oh, all of my jimmies are rustled. Alright, go for Shockwave and finish him off. Alright, so if this doesn't uh, finish him off, then... Um, well, I won't be pleased. And nobody likes it when I'm not pleased. Yay, it finished him off. Yay, I got a poke or something like that. No, not really. Uh, skunk Tank. Not cool, because we're going to switch out because it's a dark ground type, right? No, it, poison ground type? Poison ground type. That seems accurate. No, it does get sucker fun, so. You know what? We're not going to switch out, because I'm fast and furious. No, jokes aside. Really bad jokes, by the way. I'm going to try, and I don't even know what to hit it with. I know it's a poison type, and I think it's poison ground or poison dark. I'm pretty sure it's poison ground. No. Yes. No. Yes. Poison dark. It's poison dark for sure. Meaning bug isn't gonna do shit. 
So this was probably, yeah, it's poison dark type for sure. Definitely guaranteed, uh, confirmed and everything. I never really knew much about skunk tank because I just, yeah, I hated it. I just monfernoed it and that was it. That was it. Not that big of a deal. And, uh, crap, that's probably gonna finish it off. But that did enough damage that I can probably come in with something else and uh, I shouldn't have too much trouble finishing off. So it's got night slash and it's a dark type, meaning I cannot send out Nell, like, Absolutely not. Let's go for I don't know which actually does more damage at this rate. Let's go for Dragon Rage just to see what happens. Oh god, that's gonna KO instantly because oh, obviously critical obvious is obvious. Oh freaking god damn it, I was right. I, I, oh frick I, I wanted to be wrong that time. I was being sarcastic, you son of a bit. Oh whatever, it's a skunk tank. I'm pretty sure I'm faster than it. Either that or this is a real wait what 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 the what the, I went for a teleport! Oh god! Jesus! No! <laughs> I, I admit that I lost that battle, but it's just way more convenient to just hit the reset button instead of going all the way back to the Pokemon Center. I mean, sorry if that seems cheap, or if there's like some undefeated prize I get. I mean, we both acknowledge that I lost that battle. I'm just doing this because it's faster, because I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center, which is like so far away. Speaking of which, I don't even know which Pokemon Center I'd go to, because, yeah. So, we've established that his team is very tough, uh, at least when I was unprepared. But for now, I mean, now I am prepared. And, yeah. God, I was so unprepared. What was his first Pokemon again? God damn it, I forgot. Uh, it was... Weezy? No, 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 it was something annoying. No, some, not something annoying, something with headbutt. Headbutt, no, that's what I wanted to go. Okay, new problem. I have no idea what his Pokemans are. But on a brighter note, we're gonna use some TMs now because I do figure I am kind of over, I mean, under leveled and. God, is there no experienced lucky egg thing I should be receiving right about now? Ooh, an HP up, I'm definitely gonna use that. I will give it to Jaws because Jaws needs the experience of nothing. Needs the HP up. Oh my god, focus punch. Ah, oh, if I could pull that off. Bulk up, I can definitely learn as a croc, a jock, a walk, a walk, a wookie. Damn it! I can't learn it on any of my Pokemon. What is this? This is absurd, good sir. Water pulse, no, screw that. Calm mind. Ah. Roar, screw that. Taunt might be helpful, but not really. Ooh, Thunderbolt. I think I get two of those, so I'm gonna actually use this one. I have no idea when uh, Dre will learn the next Thunderbolt. Oh, but then again, Nell. I'll give the next one to uh, Nell, so yeah. I kind of like how in uh, the Mystery Dungeon games, though, you c I'm actually gonna learn Thunderbolt and replace Pin Missile. Because Shockwave does come in handy if my opponent starts using crap like Double Team. And I'm pretty sure Dre would put something with Double Team in this game. Because Dre, Dre's that guy who likes to make his shit very tough. And, uh, yeah. Flamethrower, not gonna teach that to anybody. Brick Break, though, definitely gonna teach that to Jaws. It's, like, awesome, awesome sauce on Jaws. Like, extremely awesome sauce. I would teach it to Tengu, but anything that's gonna need Brick Breaking is gonna get taken out by Low Kick anyway. So it doesn't really make that big of a difference i have two hms on me god damn it i would totally replace something okay do i i have a dedicated dark type pokemon for psychic type pokemon or ghost types pretty much tengu so i don't really need crunch so we're gonna replace crunch with brick break which is gonna be really helpful since those bulky steel types or whatever else is weak to fighting yeah, yeah that'll probably screw up and rock tomb for flying types no uh thief attracts steel wing ah. Do I have anything that has wings? No, I don't. Will-O-Wisp. Definitely a very helpful attack, and I'm probably going to teach it to... I guess I'll teach it to Burst Flare, who... Yeah, that actually... Yeah, that seems like a... I mean, you know, from looking at it from a technical standpoint, that seems really stupid, because he's not going to be really walling anything, but the burn can be very helpful, especially in those situations where I need to switch out to somebody else who's going to have to take a hit. And I know he's gonna survive, but ah, screw it. Thunder Wave, definitely teaching that to uh, Dre. Dre, you are so awesome. You're so fast that a status, when you throw one out, it, it gets there. It totally gets there. And it might be a little redundant because uh, there's a chance that Thunderbolt can paralyze, but ah, uh, it's, it's, ah, uh, no. No, it's just, ah. Uh. And ground types would probably come in on Dre and, you know, 
you know, crap on his face. Crap all over his face. All over his... My entire team is guys except for now. I just realized that. Anyways, crap all over Dre's face. But then... But then he would switch on over to Jaws. So, problem solved. Grass not cool. And I'm definitely probably going to have to teach that to nobody, actually. Ooh, Shadow Claw. Who can learn that? Who can really appreciate and abuse the hell out of Shadow Claw? I have no idea. I, I guess it would either be one of these two idiots. But uh, at the moment, neither of them. And U turn, U turn, U turn, U turn me away. You turn me away from you, not the other thing. And Trick Room, which would be really, yeah, you know what? Trick Room would actually help my team because, for the most part, my team is the slowest sacks of slowness ever. Did I mention my team is extremely slow because they're really slow? Anyways, with that out of the way, we're gonna just go battle this guy, but we're gonna lead off with Dre. I, I feel that that's a good, good thing. Because if I can paralyze his team, I can make it so he doesn't do what he does best, which is annoy the hell out of me and actually kick my ass and be faster than me. His entire team is pretty much faster than me, which is really annoying. Eradicate, you son of a bitch, I just remembered that you exist. Haha. -ha. All right, I'm gonna go for the uh, Thunder Wave because def- What, what? I'm already faster than- Oh, God damn it. Basically, uh, Dre's gonna be faster than anything at this point, or at any point in the game, but the point of it is so I can switch out to other Pokemans who ain't as fast, and I'm gonna switch out now because I know for a fact I'm not gonna take whatever he's sending my way too well. Hyper Fang is coming my way, so what do I do? Do I stay? I think I'll stay and actually go for a Thunderbolt, because that's gonna do some damage, and plus there's a chance he might just be paralyzed and, you know, die from it next turn. All right, so this should do a lot of damage. Why? All of my wives. I'm switching out. Screw this. Going on over to Jaws. He's got that brick break. It'll be super effective. And, uh, yeah, I assume super effective is more powerful than uh, stab. Apparently. Also, intimidate kind of helps out with that. Oh, yeah, you can't move. Suck it, son. All right, going to go for another brick break. Well, actually, my first brick break. And while I use brick break, I shall insert this cough drop into my mouth. And that way my voice doesn't die. Oh, hey, a pink one. I like these. Uh, these uh, cough drops usually have something written on them. So, you know what? I'm going to read it to you guys, and that's going to be awesome. You've survived tougher. No, I haven't. I've never... Nom, nom, nom. Coughed up in my mouth. No, I've never... <clears throat> never survived anything more difficult than a wheezing. Wheezing poison type. That means psychic is totally going to crap all over its face if, I, if I'm faster than it. And wheezing doesn't really have any speed stat to be known of. Wait, why didn't I switch out to wheezing in the- Oh, right, I didn't even know I wasn't paying attention. That's the problem. See, see, I lost because I didn't pay attention, guys. Not because I was totally outskilled in every way possible. I was totally outskilled in every way possible, and I admit it, and that's- Yeah. Uh, I guess this will be a really, uh, short, lame, funny, awkward, totally awkward episode where I put, um, <clears throat> instead of- I really am losing my voice here. I shouldn't have done that whole thing where I was like- I shall take your kid, or, you know, whatever that is. I shouldn't have done that. That really screws my voice over. Anyways, question of the day is, what do you think of, uh, what's his name? Pretzel? Pretzel? No, that's not. His name cannot be Pretzel. <clears throat> I'm thinking, it cannot be Pretzel. Pretzel. No, it's something like that. Pretzel, no. It's not Pretzel. His name is not Pretzel. It's, uh, per something. And he's gonna send out that skunk tank, so I definitely want to get it paralyzed. Or something, at least. And that way, the rest of my team won't have that much trouble with it. Pretzel, pretzel. There's proton? Pretzel. Pretzel. <clears throat> pretzel. I honestly can't decide if it's pretzel. Wait, no, it sends his... It's so... It's, oh, it shows his name when he sends out a Pokemon. I'll pay attention this time. Alright, now that he's paralyzed, I shouldn't have any trouble, because the whole problem with my team is, besides being underleveled, we're really slow, the foe's skunk tank. Damn it, it doesn't say his damn name. And damn it, I totally survived that. That's awesome. Uh, now there's a chance he'll mess up or something, so I'm actually going to send out... I don't even know. Uh, okay, poison dark type. So brick break would be my best bet. I still wish I had guts. I mean, guts is really cool, and as intimidate goes, it's it, intimidate is really cool, but... Guts is so much better. I get paralyzed or some other crap like that way more often than I get anything else. Here comes Brick Break. It's super effective. Actually, it's not. It's a, it's a poison type, so it resists fighting. But since it's a dark type, it hits for neutral damage. Meaning I just wasted my time. And I'm about to take a bit of damage. That's not cool. 
we're doing pretty much like the same damage to each other so i'm just gonna go for surf since it's technically my strongest attack i get stab on it so i guess that's something you know what i'm actually gonna check my special stat it can't be that bad <clears throat> <coughs> Alright, that was totally me, like, uh, uh, doing that thing. Anyway, special stat is 60, physical is 81, 89. Uh, there's a huge, nearly 90 point gap in that, and so I should have a physical, I should really get a physical, but whatever, let's go for, hey, wait a minute, Ice Fang, I don't know why, but I have this, why, well, what? Why does my quick claw activate? He's paralyzed as it was. I missed? Why? How could... Okay, I can totally see how I missed. You know what? I got an idea. Gonna go for Brick Break and uh, take a drink and uh, see if everything cool is cool. If it doesn't, I'm obviously gonna spill my drink and cough and all that stuff. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Here I am opening my drink. Gonna take a sip now. Okay, that was really... <clears throat> Strange. Oh, hey, a critical hit. I totally don't care. Wow, I'm I'm really glad that I finished my drink before I got that critical. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so next, a uh, final Pokemon actually is Golbat. I could take it if I was dumb, but I'm not. So I'm not going to take it because I'm not dumb. Instead, I'm going to switch out because I can obviously take it now that I'm faster than it. See, the thing with that was I could probably take it. You know, I got the Ice Punch. That is, if I were to survive whatever attack is going to send my way. But it, I, uh, yeah, no chance of that happening. So we're going to switch on over to Thunderbolt Man. And Thunderbolt Man, Dre, is going to Thunderbolt. Because he's Thunderbolt Man, and that's what Thunderbolt Man does. Alright, so that aside, I can't believe an entire episode went towards beating Pretzel. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa let me get his name. Petrel. Petrel. Not Pretzel. Pet. 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 I'm looking at my pop filter. It's it's actually shaking. Like, pa, 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 pa. I am annoying you guys. I'm really sorry, but that was hilarious. If I had a camera on me at the moment, I don't because my phone is in the corner where it should be because it vibrated during my during my last recording and it's bad. Anyways, Patrell. That's like. Like, uh, the gasoline, but I'm gonna call him Pretzel from now on. I don't care. Pretzel, I see. No matter, you're bound to be far too late already. You don't even know what we're after. Oh, Pretzel, pap, 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 Pretzel, Pretzel has, Pretzel has a, Pretzel has dropped an item. It is TM6. Lyra is calling. Let's pick up the phone for once. Hello, this is Lyra. Good evening. You know, my dad. T what? You'll, my, my dad thinks you'll become an incredible trainer someday, Ray. What am I saying? I'm starting to sound like the professor. Wait, isn't the professor your? Oh, right, he isn't. Well, whatever. Uh, let's um, um TM06. I actually forget what that is. I think it's something useful though. It's probably something like. Uh, let me take a. Excuse me, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Let me take a guess. It's. Thunder. And it is actually toxic. Oh my gosh, I love toxic. Oh, sweet. I got my favorite TM. It's not my favorite TM. It's a nice TM. I'm going to teach it to um, freaking everybody can learn it. That's really cool, but... Um, oh my gosh, Trey can learn it. Oh, that's so good. That is so, so bad. I'm not sure. It's basically, I switch in as fast as possible and poison my opponent, and there's nothing they can do about it. I'm really tempted to put this on. But... Drake can't take the hits needed to stall him out. But, uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna teach it to Dre anyways. Uh, oh, quick attack. Ah, uh, that's really helpful for finishing off those assholes who, like, survive friggin' everything. But then again, my attack is, like, pathetic. It's... That, there's no chance I would finish him off anyways, and if my bait- oh, I, got, I got 100 speed. If I can't kill him, no one can. I'm gonna give in to Desire on this one and just teach him Toxic, because it's so good! It's so good! 
All right, so anyways, question of the day is, what do you guys think of pretzel? And I don't mean pretzels uh, as in, like, you know, the food, but I mean pretzel, the guy we just faced. Anyways, that about wraps it up for today. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you already have it. Bye!